they, they showed a ton of resiliency and character because New Orleans came out and battled with such huge competitive hearts. I mean, New Orleans really deserved a lot of credit today. They had us on our heels. Our guys really could have fallen back, and they really dug in and, and turned the tide. Uh, we had three match points in the doubles, lost it, got down early in a lot of first sets, and just kept fighting. Uh, I'll really, uh, I really credit the character and the heart of our team and their commitment to fitness the whole year. I think that gave them the belief that they could stay out there for a long, long time. And they really paid their dues and earned that right with, with a lot of good choices and a lot of hard work and sacrifice. Well, to me, uh, Peter Naji has always been a great player, but today he, he uh, kind of the way a butterfly comes, he became a great leader today because we needed him more than ever, and he rose up very big. Uh, I also think Javier Pujo and Matt Westmoreland, I mean, Javier lost to that guy last time in straight sets, and in the biggest moment, Javier rose up fought his nerves and believed in himself and same with Matt Westmoreland. Um, last year he was the last guy on and this year his fitness commitment was so great that I felt like he could stay out there forever and that I, I really credit the heart and the hard work of those two guys. You know everyone says everyone wants to win but who's willing to prepare to win? Those two guys really prepared to win this match for six months. Uh, we, we got off to a very Ricardo, slow start this year. Going? We made some, we made, uh, some uh, some some bad choices early on. We didn't get off to the start we should have. But this group always had character. This group always had heart. I, I got a lot of Spanish guys on the team. We say mucho corazón because they really have big hearts and they made good character choices, which which high character guys do. And they turned the ship and uh, they began to outfight people and outcompete people. It sort of culminated in the HEB Tournament of Champions, uh, the oldest tournament in the United States. They won it. Uh, you know, five freshmen in our top eight, they, their stock really boomed after that and they began to believe in their style of footwork and, and long points and uh, the heavy ball and, and play each point separately with intensity and, and, and that paid dividends today. I think it was a great victory today. Our team played great. We uh, had a rough one in the doubles, but the way that we've competed all year and that we fought and believed in each other really shown in this match the way that we were able to come out and really make a statement in the singles. I think it was great. Um, I think they're a good team. They played well. Give them credit for the doubles. They played better than us. But uh, we're going to go back and keep working on our doubles, and we'll be ready for NCAAs. I think we'll just keep our heads down, keep working. We're not letting any of this go to our heads. And uh, we're, we're prepared. We know what we need to do. We, we're going to keep doing the same things, not change up anything, and just keep working, believing in each other, and keep fighting.